Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and today we're going to talk all about glue. Now I have gotten a lot of questions in our Facebook group and tons of emails asking me which glues I recommend and which ones I use for my tutorials. So I figured I would put together this quick comparison of four of the different glues that I use or have used in my testing both on camera and off camera to really show you which ones might be a little bit better for card making. Now this certainly is not all of the glues out there. In fact, you might have a glue that you prefer to use that I'm actually not going to be testing today. This also does not include tape runners. So if there's a certain glue, or even if you're interested in which tape runners I prefer or adhesives I prefer, leave a comment below and let me know so I can make another video for you. Make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. So we're going to start with Art Glitter Glue. This is a glue that I recommend and have used for a very long time. It is a water-based glue. Um, it has a precision tip that you screw onto the cap and then the little pin here um, keeps it nice and clean. Um, sometimes I do run into the precision tip being clogged and then I have to clean it out with some alcohol or so, um, some water or something and then let it dry. But um, let's go ahead and see how thin you can get the lines. That precision tip really is good for getting into all of the little areas, especially if you have really small intricate pieces or embellishments. You can get right into the corners. You can get very, very thin. So it's a really, really good glue for embellishments. Um, I don't know if you can see these on camera, but it dries completely clear. There's no tack to it at all. You can barely see those lines. Probably if I stand it up like this, you can see a little bit of the wavy. And then for my layered test, I layered three different pieces of cardstock. And you can see that there is a little bit of buckling. It's not too bad, um, but as you start to add more and more embellishments, like if uh, you have several layers on the front and then you add a matte layer on the inside, that card base is gonna start to buckle just a little bit. Is it something that's super noticeable? No, but if you're trying to go for a professional look, it, uh, it is noticeable. Okay, so that is Art Glitter Glue. Next, let's talk about the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. This is something that is very similar to the Art Glitter Glue. It has a pre ultra precision tip and then also comes with a precision tip. So this would be for larger projects. The ultra precision would be to get into those intricate cuts. Um, and then it also comes with this little test tube that has that additional that additional nozzle and then uh, a storage nozzle as well this glue is a water-based glue um, i haven't used it all that often to be honest it is it seems like it's a little bit more watery it's not runny but it seems thinner than the art glitter glue it's not a bad thing it's just um I, I prefer the art glitter over this one. This is good to you uh, to buy if the art glitter glue is out of stock or if um, it's the winter months because sometimes art glitter glue does not ship during the winter months. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. It, like I said, it's not a bad glue at all. It's just for my taste, it seems to be a little bit more watery. Go ahead and show you how it goes on. You barely have to squeeze the bottle and you do get a nice thin uh, bead of glue. It does dry clear. And again, I hope that you can see at least a little bit of those lines. It is, there is no tack to it at all.
One thing that I will say that is a big positive for me, the way that you put the tips on, uh, they screw on very easily. It's very easy to take the precision tip off and put the ultra precision tip on. They're very, very uh, user friendly in my opinion. And the pin is longer. Now when I did my mat test, you can see there is some buckling. I think this has to do with the fact that it is a little bit more watery. Uh, obviously water and cardstock don't really mix. So you can see that there's a curve here and it is buckled a little bit. See uh, here at the top and then it kind of moves a little bit this way. So I would not probably use this one that much. Um, I would probably use it for embellishments, not necessarily for applying to a layer of a card. Um, it's good to have on hand that that nozzle and the precision tips are excellent. In fact, I might try to use this bottle with another glue once I run out of this one. Now let's talk about uh, the Aileen's Tacky Glue. This is the glue that I use when I first got my Cricut. It's very accessible and uh, it's something that you can get pretty much anywhere. I think even the dollar stores sell it. Um, it is a good glue. It is a water-based glue. It is good for all kinds of paper crafting and um, other, other crafting uh, projects. But um, for card making, I'm not quite sure. It is pretty hard to uh, get out. When you take the cap off, you have to pierce that nozzle and you can make it thinner or thicker depending on how you, how much you push down to pierce the nozzle. You have to squeeze pretty hard. Now I made this the hole pretty thin to make it comparable to the other glues and I am having to squeeze quite a bit. It does have a nice bead of glue. Um, it does dry clear and there is no tack to it despite it being called tacky glue. Um, it's a good glue all around. I think it's a good multi-purpose glue. I'm not quite sure if I would use it for my card making though. When I did my mat test, you can see the buckling there. It's not severe, but it is there. Uh, the, one of the biggest problems I have with it is just how hard it is to get it out. But I mean, you really have to squeeze it. You really, really have to squeeze it. So those of you with the dexterity issues probably aren't going to like this one. Now this last one that I'm going to mention is uh, the Beacon 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue. This is solvent based. It is a little, it has a little bit of an odor. It's not offensive to me. I mean it's not as strong as like paint thinner, but it actually kind of reminds me of the smell that you can get or the odor from rubber cement. I used to love that smell when I was a kid, so this does not bother me at all, but the benefits, in my opinion, outweigh the negative as far as having a little bit of a smell. It has this nice twist cap on it, and it does have a nice nozzle already. It's not as thin as the Art Glitter Glue as far as the nozzle, um, but it's just, I think it's a great glue. You don't have to squeeze very hard for it to come out. It covers nicely. And then you can see with my matte test, this has absolutely no buckling. It is completely straight, completely straight at the top. There's no, there's no warping at all. And that is because it's solvent based, it's not water based. So this gives such a nice professional look, crisp and clean mats and layers. Um, the, the precision tip or the tip on this one is not as fine. That's why I would probably recommend this to use as your adhesive for your mats and layers and then gluing your embellishments onto your cards because I think that the art glitter glue or even the barely glue um, with those tips 
are just much better at getting into those little itty bitty areas. I'm not saying that this wouldn't work because I've used this in my testing for embellishments and it's worked just fine. Um, it does dry clear, let me show you that. It dries clear, but you can see that there's a little bit of a shine to it. So you can even use this in replace of um, glossy accents. You could put this on top of some of your die cuts and make it look shiny or wet um, just for a little contrast. Uh, it's just all around such a good glue that um, not being able to get into the little itty bitty corners of intricate cuts is not as bad to me. Which one do you think is the best out of all four of those? My two picks certainly are the uh, Beacons 3-in-1 and for intricate cuts and fine details, the Art Glitter Glue. Both of these to me did the best. Now, of course, this is my personal opinion and my personal recommendation. I am nowhere near a professional, so your opinion might differ from mine, and that's totally fine. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm Nick, also known as the Bearded Housewife. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you at the next card-making video. Bye.